<laughs> Greetings. Her? Yes. Welcome. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. I heard many people say my name, so I yes. decided to come. I wanted to start with the questions from a couple of people about cancer. Cancer. Yes. So Jim saw the photograph of that lady. Her name is Carol, Carol. and she is in Australia. Do you have any comments on her? I did not study it yet, but I know that she has metastasis. Metastasis. Yes. I did not know how to pronounce it. Yes. But she does, she is in a serious way at this time. We will look into it and give it some advice for her. There may be something we can do. Right now, to pet is not available. I see. Um, the second person is Alexander. Yes. There is not much we can do, really. Thank you, but. Yes. I will give you a personal okay. interpretation later. All right. <coughs> uh, who goes next? The, the, uh, what, what is the waiting line? I got a question real quick. Yes. <laughs> Greetings to Kerr, Guruya Kasha, JC, and Brother Robert. Nitrous Pegasus. Yes. The question from Nitrous is, Dear Takur, you told me that I have contact with many aliens, that some tell me that it's okay to not want to be in the 3D dimension. Are they saying this out of good intentions and or for not so good reasons? You must... That, you must... Second, understand. Oh, continue. Go ahead. Pardon. The second question would be... Oh, wait, you know, just one question at a time, Justin. One question at a time, yes. Okay, pardon. Many it pardon. is not wrong to be in a fourth dimensional place. However, how you get there is important. If you do not ground first, then pull the energy up through the earth into the fourth dimension, then you will not be able to interpret all the messages that the fourth dimension have for you. So it is not wrong to want to be in a fourth dimension. It is just how you get there that is important. Many fourth dimensional energies and information can come to you, but you will not properly ground it or understand it or be able to bring the information to the earth if you are not grounded properly. Do you understand? Completely. I've been, I felt the assistance from the colonies during this process of becoming 4D. I understand now why you requested the 3D physicality. Because that is what you were born to. You were born to the third dimension. You must understand that first before you can possibly understand the fourth. You must understand the third before you can understand the fourth. Or continue. What is the second question? Do you know of Alaye, the Palladian, a very loving teacher who is also a light worker and ascended master? Do you know and have any pertinent information towards these messages? Alaya is on the ship around the European continent. He will be spending some time with you in the future. But no one has been channeling much in public from that ship. But there will be some communication soon because there's been many requests for it. But he is, yes, a teacher, yes. And he has come here for a specific purpose. And one of them is to channel with Earth. <clears throat> Do you have any messages for myself or anyone of the human colony that are pertinent to this now moment? This now moment is a teaching moment for all of you. Remember to ground yourself. 
keep it grounded before you can reach higher. The reason for this is so that you can understand properly what is happening. If you do not properly understand, you can be misguided easily. Does that make sense to you? I'm understanding. Yes. Beginnings. If you are misguided, if you can, if they can lead you astray because of false understanding, this will not be good. But most, are, most of you are very high-minded as far as intent. Your intents are very high. This is good, but intent alone is not security. So please ground yourself and bring yourself. Next one was Caitlin, then Gabriel, then Sarah, and then Michael, and then Sean. Yes, continue. Hello, Takur. Hello. Blessings to you, Caitlin. Blessings to you as well. Um, I had a question. Um, considering, I had like I, I asked Douglas uh, about an experience I had. It was something that was just really. Oh it God. seemed like my body was being transported somewhere. Um, I was wondering if I could have an update on that. What what it was was did it have anything to do with the colonies? What is it that Douglas told you about that experience? He said it. They there hasn't been anything like they haven't been transporting people, but mm -hmm. they that is an experience that is similar to what would be or something. That's I see. But he said he would give me an update on it. So the update okay. would be with Douglas. However, I know what is going on. Yes, the tr the site to site transports have not yet begun. However. They are, there are other species working with um, moving individuals to different places. Ken Jean is working with moving people to different places, and I believe he was the one in charge of taking you. He has a great interest in you because of your the people that are around you. So, um, <clears throat> Probably Douglas was not aware that Ken Jean is doing this as well. But it yeah. was not the a people... site. It was not a site to site transfer, though. <clears throat> okay. So the people around me. What does that mean? I mean, you mean my family yeah, the or that are around you? You have a lot of elementals around you as well. So you you have elementals and you do have other beings. So they just watch you. They they're interested in your reaction to many things. So you understand. <laughs> Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is it my turn now, Caitlin? I believe it's me. Yes. Ronnie, yes. one person from Norway, wanted to ask if she's been to the colony one. Not yet, but she will be. She is someone that is of interest for that. She will be going soon. Yes. And I ha also have two questions. Uh, uh, I haven't felt anything from the colony since I've been to the crystal room. Yes, I understand. You you have been there, but you just may not have felt it. There are things going on with you that I cannot explain to you on a public site. However, you will be going back. You have gone back. You just have not remembered it at this time. Yes. I I'm getting a very strong confusing in my head at the moment. Is that someone trying to connect with me? It's One moment. very uncomfortable. Where is the where is the discomfort? In my entire head. Just ask him to leave. They will let you alone. It is no one. It is. <clears throat> <clears throat> It is not anyone that you know. Ask them to leave. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. This time is not for them. Who am I is next? next? I think I am. Um, yeah. Hi, Chikar. 
Hello. Hello. I have questions for Noha and um, Slava. Yes. And one for myself. Well, a statement for myself. Yes. I'd like to call the my Pleiadian son uh, for Seti. F O R S E T I. F O R S E T I. Yes. Continue. <laughs> yes. Okay, the question for Noha. She wanted to know how her hybrid, hybrid son and daughter Aditya and Aline are doing they are and any, any uh, developments regarding connecting to them you will be connecting to them shortly mm -hmm. they are in fine condition their parents are very happy with their advancements they're moving forward I am not sure of the word but you will be there to visit them shortly once for each and then later again this has been planned for you already mm -hmm. and she would like to know does she, do you have any messages uh, for her any developments in intuition and are you getting uh, her telepathic SMS's well messages that is yes. the children love their names the names connect them to her as mm -hmm. their mother and this brings something more personal to the relationship and when they meet them they will understand when she meets them she will understand what I am speaking of they are both moving forward in a very nice manner mm -hmm. I need to interrupt. Uh, Gabe says that he has hurt her is hurting very bad is there anything we can do now, like a blessing or something, or send someone? It's more like it's very uncomfortable at the moment. One moment, please. Let me see who it is that is bothering you. I offer <coughs> myself to these energies for Gabe. If you're open to this, I allow these energies to flow into my being. <laughs> Anga hoka hosha ta. Yes, as a classic. Itata, me dig 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 dig. Thank you. Gabriel, take some deep breaths and blow out the toxins. It feels much comfortable at the moment. Yes, very good. Continue. Yes, uh, the questions for Slava. Yes. Uh, his first, he has three, and he says, his hybrid child, Av Avelea, can you please describe how she looks and what hybrid she is? Yes. I am and sorry. Same question I... for Doge as, as well, his other hybrid child, uh, Elias Shah. I am sorry I did not get back to you earlier about the children. Yes, they look very human, both of them. One is Yi Yi. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. One is a Yigil child and the other is a Pleiadian child. But they both look somewhat human. And their eyes are very large, as you requested. Not in the, the sense that they look alien, but that they look sensitive and loving. I know what you are looking for in your children. And I know and understand how much they mean to you. So they are looking and they will be exactly like you want them to be. They will be used for exactly the way you want them to be as well. Your intent for them is very high and I thank you for that. 
and we will use that intent. Mm -hmm. He also wanted to know their ages and in what constellation they are in. They are in, one is in a ship and one is in the constellation of Siri. They have been moved, but it is all right. Siri is a very, very high culture, very, very, very gentle and light. We felt that this would be the best place for one, and the other is in the, the ships. Mm -hmm. And um, Takur, he would like you to know that he sent you a letter yes. on your on email to Jim. Yes. Did you receive it? Yes. And that is why I'm saying I am sorry I have not been able to respond to it as quickly as I would have liked to. But yes, I, I did receive it. Yes, he says if it is appropriate, please comment on the letter. Yes, it was a beautiful letter. And I thought that it was, it was your intents for the children were wonderful. And yes, I see how you see them. And it will. Does he want me to comment on the other parts? On uh, no. Well, if it's appropriate um, to comment on whatever it was he said to you in the letter. I will. I will send you a reply later. But I did want to comment that it was a beautiful letter and the children, I, I visualized how you wanted the children. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the last one is this week during sleep, uh, he remembers meeting with a little girl. Mm -hmm. They were talking about something and it seems she's saying to him, if you would know about this meeting and who was this little girl. I believe that little girl was in a dream. It was not one of his children. It was not an entity from out of this realm. However, there was a message attached to it from spirit. And it was to, to let him know that everything was going to be all right and that the innocence of a child is how the innocence would be when he arrives in one of their locations, he will feel that innocence pouring from him and to him. Thank you. <sighs> Any more questions? It was Mikal next. Yes. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. I would like to ask, uh, first of all, much love to you all. Uh, much love, normal stay. Normal stay. Uh, I would like to ask, uh, how do you count time? Uh, do you have a universal uh, time for for this year? Or do each race count time in their own way? Okay. Our perception of time is slightly different than yours. We can actually control where we want to be at whatever time that we need to be through different dimensional portholes. Not only that, but we can... It, it depends on the question. If, are you talking about for us personally or for our ships? Because they have a different time as well. We can fold space and time and move hundreds of thousands of years into one or two hours. So time does not exist the way you see it in that realm. Do you understand? Not quite. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Yeah. So there is no universal are, linear are, time. They are of one. They are a fabric that work together. Time and space can be folded from one point to another so that at this point it is one point in time and at the other edge of it it's another point in time which may be very different than the original do you understand it is very it's a very difficult thing to 
describe without using scientific terms. Excuse me, are they simultaneous? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. But they move mm -hmm. as one. You can move them as one because as you move from this place to this place by folding the fabric of time and space, it will appear that you are many, many millions of miles from your original destination, which with a ship would have taken many millions of years or thousands of years, and then it only takes maybe an hour or two. Okay, thank you. Did you have a question? I'm sorry, excuse me. That's all right. Did that answer your question? That is one kind. Are the, the time that we live in, we manipulate. We can manipulate time and space. You are dragged along by it. We put it right equal with us so that we can do the things that we need to do when we need to do them. You are dragged along by time and space because you do not know how to manipulate it. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, thank you. I, I, that is the best way for me to describe it. <clears throat> it is different, yes. Thank you for this message. And it's not measured in the way that you measure it. It is measured in what has been accomplished in what period of time. So, so if, if there is something that you need to change in the past, you go to the past? Wouldn't that affect we, can go to the past. we can go to the past and future, but not to the distant past or the distant future. It is not permitted. Only a very short period of time in the past can be uh, assigned. And only a short time in the future can be assigned to your daily perspectives. It is very difficult for you to understand because you cannot see time the way we do and space. So it is a different, difficult concept. But with your telepathy, when you become telepathic, when this species has evolved to its next level, you will be getting an inkling of how time and space works because you will notice it between yourselves. As you communicate telepathically, there will be an understanding of how things move without being seen. And that will give you an inkling of how the universe works with time and space. Thank you very much. Thank you very much again. You are welcome. Continue. Who's next? Max, you can ask my question. I'm willing to wait. Uh, to you ask your questions from the other people. It was Sean next. And Sean, continue. And then Sabrina. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Max had uh, questions from other people, and uh, I'm willing to wait. All right, thank you. I will do that. Okay, um, Terry, um, you know Terry, right? I sent you a photograph of Terry from Australia. Yeah. A young girl. Yes. All right, she asks, Hi, Max. Can you please ask a question that occurred? I would like to know about my DNA inheritance, percentage of alien. Uh, this would be very, my first question. So very excited to know what's running through my veins. Terry, do you know what portion? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. I am understanding, yes. One moment, please. Waka. Ikora Hashalba. It would appear that you have some Pleiadian running in you, about 3.5%. The Yahosha. Continue. All right. Um, Liney, you know Liney, right? Caroline. Yes. Um, 
She says, would be grateful. Uh, first, my new hybrid girl in incubation, I want to name her Freya, pronounced like F R, okay, it's spelled F R E J A, pronunciation Freya or Freya. Freya. Yes. I will pass that along for you. Thank you. Guahata Kapashua Freya. Bye Thank you. Second, what was happening Thursday night in my belly? Or was it to do with taking DNA? One moment. Oh, you are feeling a a psychic connection between the unborn child and yourself. It was not taking of DNA. We have enough DNA of yours that it, you have five or six, five hybrid children, so we do have your DNA on file. However, you were feeling a psychic connection, and that will continue to happen. Do you understand? Uh, she's not online, but thank you. Yes, it makes sense. Can I go with the next question? Yes. All right. Nitrous Pegasus is asking, is there any alien species which would look like a raccoon, uh, two-legged, uh, you know, st up, up, upright standing raccoon? Yes. There is a species that is not around Earth at this time. How did you see them? I don't have an answer. I see. I, this is JC. I informed Brother Robert Nitrous Pegasus of my interaction with Bashar when he channeled Willa Hilla Crissing and I had a conversation where I offered my light code DNA for hers to create a new being so as to understand the dimension, parallel dimensions and realities. This being, however, that he speaks of is an actual race, a species that is not around Earth at this time but are interested in coming sometime in the future, perhaps 50 years from now. Because they know that we are not cracking human evolution in a way that is interesting to them yet. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Good. But they will be here. They are called the Leandians. All right, do you remember Steve? Yes, Steve. All right, he asks about, in writing, about his hybrid child. Yes. What would you like to know? Uh, he didn't comment, but I guess how is his health uh, side? Doing well. Mm -hmm. He is doing well, yes. It's a male child. Uh -huh. It is doing well. It is in a colony. areas, but not in the colony, but there is an area on the ship close to the colonies that are colony one. I got that wrong. One moment. There's an area close to colony one on the ship that your son is there, and he is doing very well. He is growing quickly. What would be the correspondence to Earth age? Probably 1.5, 1.5 years old. Okay. I think I'm done with questions from others. Uh, Sean was next, I guess. Uh, can I make a quick request? Yes. yes. Uh, right now I feel better, but it's very confusing while I'm channeling. Could someone help me with that? Someone I, like Fisher? You has Fisher. Oh, Fission, yes. Just a moment, please. Daka, Fati, Foshkwara, Bijo Morso, Oraka, Fati, One moment. He will be sending you some healing energy. One second. One moment. One moment. 
Udaka shot of Fuata Eria Hoa, Sasha Hoa, Ericunda Ushapa teeth at Gimbia Boko. You should feel some relief momentarily. If you do not, let me know. Who is next? May I ask a question, please? Because my connection is. Now I may ask the question. Oh, how many of us? Now I may ask the question because she can get to the off at any time. Who is speaking now? No, huh? No. Yes. Go ahead. Hello, Ticker, and hello, Max, and everybody. Actually, my, my connection is doing good, but I'm trying to come through quickly. Uh, Ticker, I've been sending you so many uh, telepathic uh, messages. Do you get them? I get some of them. I do not get all of them, but I do get some of them. I just know I've been inquiring about my telepathy is getting better and my psychic abilities are, are they getting better and uh, what's in store for me in that case? Yes, I believe they are getting better, but there is some interference with some atmospheric things when you're just sending them without technology. However, you are getting stronger and you are visiting the Colony One for telepathic growth. I received them as questions. Is that correct? You were asking how you were doing and Question how you were doing. Yes. Continue. I'm asking questions and requests all the time to enhance myself. Yes. I have been sending answers. Have you been receiving them? Mm, not really clearly. Okay. I need help with that, please. please. Ah, I see. Do not, be a, do not be worried. You are doing fine. Things are getting stronger, and you will be able to enhance yourself in many ways. At the colonies, we do help you with that. So, And well, we do understand where you are coming from and why you are asking. So, I need Fisher to help me in my area also. You know, of the world. Yes. Yes. In my area. For the, you know, social regulations in our area. See what I mean? Yeah. Thank you very are much you, and well appreciated. Are you even permitted to have a connection here today? I just have it by chance. Today just happened. It's just a miracle. Ah, I see. Understood. I will work on that for you. Well appreciated and love you. Love you too. Namaste. How do you feel? How does Jim's body feel? He is okay. Thank you. Uh, Sean is next. Sean. Hello, Tucker. Much love. Hello, Sean. How are you? I am fine. I am just curious to know how my grounding is going. Where what? My grounding. Oh, yes. Just a moment. It is better than it was, yes. Continue to, to ground. You are actually very close, so that you may pull up through the energy. Remember to, whenever that you are grounding, to take walks. You have been doing that. You have been out in nature, correct? Yes. Yes, I thought so. And you have been connecting to nature, and this is a great thing for you, because um, you, you tend to have a very fourth dimensional outlook. So just remember that the third dimension, the third dimension is where you were born into. You must understand it. And there are some things about the third dimension that are difficult for you to understand. However, you are doing very well. Thank you, Tafur. Much love. Continue to work in that direction. You are well loved as well. Thank you for all your messages that you send. Thank you for the responses. 
even though it's hard to understand. Thank you. You're welcome. It will be easier in the future. Next it's Sabrina. Sabrina, how are you? Fine, how are you, Takur? I am well. Good. Um, my question is, in um, Pisco Valley in Peru, yeah. um, there are these um, thousands of holes, I think it's like 2,500 holes that have been uh, carved there. Yes. Um, Thank you for all your messages was, that you sent. I was Thank you for the responses, even though it's hard to understand. Thank you. It will be easier here in the future. Hi, Mila. You're a Marina. How are you? Hi, how are you? I am well. We can't mute her. Um, my question is in uh, Pisco Valley in Peru. Um, there are these. Arlinga, uh, can you uh, turn off your view? Like you need to. Uh, so you the report in plain in Sabrina's browser, that's what it is. Uh, no, no. It's an Angela per. It's not me. I can't mute. I will mute her completely then. Who are the Shaka Roto? Who call it? Continue, Sabrina. Uh, it's fixed now. Okay. Um, so. Uh, the valley, yes, with the holes. Yes. So I was wondering what civilization made them, and and if you can tell us um, what was it used for? What what was the purpose of the holes? The purpose of the holes was. Each hole had a crystal within it, and each crystal had um, technology attached to it. It was for communication, transmitting, and transporting, and receiving. Okay. They could do multiple transports at once. But all the technology and crystals have been removed. Okay. And, and what civilization was that? That was Fendorian. Oh. oh. They okay. had a brief visit here on your planet. Okay, and would the, the, the drawings also have been made by them, or was that a different civilization? That was the people that were in the area at the time that saw them. Oh, okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Sister Decur, were they related to the red-headed giants, um, the Peruvians, the Peruvian culture? They knew of them, and they were attached in bonds of understanding, but not physiologically. Also, another question. I've been feeling many new um, integrations of DNA, um, as well as visits from the Diamond Consciousness Collective and all the Ascended Masters. Yes. Changing your DNA is part of what alien contact does. However, yours changes much quicker because you are the 12 in strands. Could you inform about the 12 strands yeah. and the diamonds interlaced between them? The reason for this is that you have so much contact that they needed to change the strands to help you not be harmed. So the process that I've been experiencing, just allow it fully. Yes. And also there is many other reasons for the increase of DNA strands. But I cannot go into that at this time. But you know of many of them. Yes. Thank you for this message. I must go now. Thank you, Tucker. Uh, can you give us a blessing? Giga Vasha. Otaka Motari and a Tasopoti. And the Kankra Koshosha Mota Botu. Ungo Hati Kikarakanta. Sora O Potatika Nikoto. Ora Komboski. 
그게 오라라입니다. Continue to grow. Continue to let the light seep into you and let it awaken all the things within you that are for the present. The future is to behold, and you will behold it in its own time. Let the light of understanding and spirit fill you with the wisdom to move in a way that you must move to carry out the purpose of your perfect life. Hold on to those things that resonate well with you. Do not ever let them go. And gain those that resonate with you and build a world, a city within you, an understanding of spirit that has not been seen on your planet as this date. Much love to you and much gratefulness to you that you have connected yourself with spirit and with positivity. Much love to Kerr. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste. You are the. Oh, hello. Hey, Jim. How are you? Hi, Jim. How hey. are you? Welcome back, Jim. Welcome back. Mm. Thank you, thank you. 